Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us here on CBS News 24-7. I'm Lindsay Reiser. Here's a look at the top stories we're following right now. Sprint for the White House. With about three weeks left until Election Day, both Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump court voters in the key battleground state of Pennsylvania. We'll take a look at where the election stands. Plus, a new ruling from the IRS could give workers more power when it comes to deciding how to distribute their company's 401k contributions. We'll explain what it all means with our senior business and tech reporter, Jolene Kent. And the MLB playoff push continues. We're giving you a look at what to watch for as the Mets face the Dodgers and the Yankees take on the Guardians. We are just 22 days away from Election Day, and Vice President Harris and former President Trump are campaigning in the same battleground state today. Both candidates are holding dueling events in opposite ends of Pennsylvania today. Trump is hosting a town hall just outside of Philadelphia in Oaks, while Harris is holding a rally in Erie, which is between Buffalo and Cleveland. And a new CBS poll shows just how close the race is. According to the polling, the vice president is leading by three percentage points nationally, a smaller margin than last month. And when it comes to crucial battleground states, well, the candidates are effectively even, with Harris up by just one percentage point. The margin of error is 2.3 points. CBS News campaign reporter Zach Hudak joins me now from Washington. Zach, what can you tell us about the particular stops the campaigns are making today and what it reveals about their strategies? Lindsay, there's no question. But well, the country is celebrating two holidays today, Columbus Day and Indigenous Peoples Day. Although Indigenous Peoples Day is not a federal holiday, it has been recognized for decades as a way to celebrate Native Americans' history and culture and acknowledge the challenges they still face. President Biden issued the first proclamation of Indigenous Peoples Day in 2021. The day is celebrated in various ways across the country, including ceremonies, dances, and rallies. We leave you with some sights and sounds from the Columbus Day Parade here in New York City. This year marks the parade's 80th year of celebrating Italian-American heritage. The parade marches up Fifth Avenue, complete with floats and marching bands, and the day begins with a mass at St. Patrick's Cathedral and plenty of crowds. Thanks for streaming CBS News 24-7. I'm Lindsay Reiser.